It's your time to live well, and you have tuned into the Holistically Speaking Podcast, where we're teaching you to be well and be whole in your body, your joy factor, in every season and pivot of your life, in your mental health and your well-being. Are you ready for this episode? Excellent. Tune in. You won't be disappointed. And so, so true. You won't be disappointed. Hello, everybody. It is your well woman practitioner, Lashana Moore of Holistically Well LLC. And this is our podcast episode from Holistically Speaking. And I'm going to be talking to you, talking to us about something that is a generalized um expression of being well and whole because you know that's what it's all about everything that we talk about in mind body soul and spirit is about being well and being whole yep so my drink for the day is water i always share that if i'm drinking something and um disclaimer here i do not own the rights to this song but this is what we're going to be talking about Yep. Hey. That's it. <laughs> yep. We're talking about walking, the benefits of walking, walking your way into more, walking your way into being a better you, having a better life, having a healthier life. And we're going to focus on this at the time of this podcast episode. We're going to talk about walking our way into 2023 plus so and beyond based on when you find this episode. Um, This is a very a generalized way of of starting the path and the process of being well and being whole. And I just want to share with you a few ways of how to do that, how I have been doing that probably the last two years of my life since 2020. Um, so again, welcome to Holistically Speaking. Here is our disclaimer here on the screen. Information shared on these episodes are the beliefs and opinions of the host. Health topics are not designed to treat or cure medical issues. Please consult your physician. Our spiritual episodes are from the foundation of our Christian faith. So there you have it. Real quick, let me talk with you about my walking story. So I really started focusing more on walking 2020 as a result of devastation as a result of loss. Um, It was the only way that I could get my body to move. It was the only way that I could move trauma and crisis and grief and depression and anxiety through my body and in an effort to move it through and out of my body. It was not a perfect situation. It's not a perfect uh, story. It's not a trial to triumph story. Uh, Walking is not conclusive, it's progressive. But even being a person who knows all about health and wellness and exercise and all of these different things, I was paralyzed by my loss. Um, this is an ongoing journey for any of you who are who are grieving something or someone. It's an ongoing journey. The only thing I could get myself to do was to walk because literally grief was a physical anxiety and a physical anguish and a physical pain. So I began to walk around the lake in the neighborhood that we were living in at that time and allowing any emotion, any feeling that I had to be just that, Um, trying to regulate nervous system. So that was my beginning experience into incorporating walking in my life for my mental well-being and for my physical and emotional well-being. So there are so many ways that you're going to be able to use this. I really want you to open up your mind and broaden your horizon. My mom used to say that all the time to me. Broaden your horizon about the benefits of walking. Oh, and you also see in my background, it's holiday time. My little tree, my little nutcracker back there. These are like little things that I keep around me to cultivate joy and to embrace the season because I love to take in the joy factors of all the seasons. Um, So when is it time to walk? Let's talk about it. Now, each of you, here's another disclaimer. Each of you are in a different stage and phase in your life. You know your limitations, you know your restrictions, you know your freedoms, you know your environment, you know your lifestyle factors and all of your variables. 
So take those things into consideration. Keep those things in mind. And I want you to modify where necessary, considering your health factor, uh, considering the desperation of what your life needs from walking, and considering your restrictions, like I said. But when is it time to walk? When you are living an idle and sedentary life. When very little of your life is given toward movement. Listen, as we mature and as we age, and you hear me talk about the idea is to age well, it is important that we learn how to move our bodies. It doesn't have to be at a fast pace. It can be indoors, it can be outdoors, but it has to be some form of mobility. So when your life is idle or sedentary, this is when you know that it's time to walk. Another factor, a variable engage for you is when you're dealing with depression, grief, anxiety, insomnia. I just shared my story with you. Um, I continue to walk for all of the reasons and getting all of the benefits, getting the release of dopamine into your system. These are neurotransmitters that are released from the brain into the body that can immediately change your mood and will overall impact your well-being. If you're dealing with these issues and more, walking will be a great precursor to feeling well, to being well. You don't have to walk for a long time, okay? Um, also, another one, when your usual habits aren't helping. So these are for my high achieving people, or these are for my box checkers, as Michelle Obama uh, talks about. These are for my people who know how to cross their I cross their T's and dot their I's, even in the physical fitness world. And so maybe you're experiencing a halt where all of the things that you know to do just ain't working. Or maybe you're in the maturing phase of life where the hormones are changing and shifting. You're having issues with losing weight. Weight is stubborn. Um, you're having issues with brain fog that happens with our hormonal shift. You're having issues with sleeping. You're having issues with keeping the weight off. You're having stubborn areas that just won't go away out of all the things that you know to do. Now, mind you, there can be a lot of things happening in the body. This episode is a very generalized introduction to uh, get you to walking and allowing the body to experience the emotional, mental, physical, psychological, pathological, biological benefits of walking, okay? So if your usual habits aren't helping, it may be time for you to walk, which also means for those of you who are the box checkers, it may be time to slow down. What happens is if your nervous system needs to be regulated, if your body is in a fright or flight mode, if your sympathetic and parasympathetic systems aren't working and your, and your body is not getting the message that, hey, you can chill out, you can slow down, you can relax, you can breathe, you can be calm, you don't have to be in an alarm ready to go off mode, ready to be in defense mode, uh, ready to be in a protective mode, then your body is not going to respond. And so sometimes when you're doing all the great things, when you're doing all of the um, hard things, when you're doing all the gladiator things, it may be a season to reverse that. It may be a season to say, okay, maybe my experience, maybe my benefits, maybe my... Um, benefits, maybe my results are going to come the opposite way by me slowing down. And you can do that by walking. It may be time to slow down. It may be time to get outside and to get some of nature's vitamin D so that you can experience the beauty and the power that nature provides. You can walk with someone. You can have a, a, a leisure stroll. You can have a stroll with a goal in mind. You can walk with a group of people, men and women, children, boys and girls. This is something that we all need to do. If you are experiencing metabolic sluggishness, it may be time for you to begin walking. Why is that? Well, you hear, you've heard me talk quite a bit about the mitochondrial, uh, uh, mitochondrial health. And this is mitochondria. We, we learned about this in science starting from middle school and all the way up 
uh, to a collegiate grade. If, if you went that far, doesn't really matter. You learned about it in junior high and a little bit of introduction to elementary as well. When our bodies are shifting, hormones are shifting, uh, neurons are shifting, chemicals are shifting in the body, you can experience a metabolic sluggishness. Athletes can experience this. Sometimes your system is in high alert and it's in crash mode. And you're, because so many of the issues that we deal with stem from metabolic health or poor metabolic health, it halts every other uh, approach and effort that we put in to see a result. It will halt all of it if your metabolic health is sluggish, uh, if your thyroid is sluggish. So it may be time for you to walk. One thing that it's going to do is it's going to help to regulate insulin resistance. Many of us experience that as we get older. It's just it's not just about diabetes. It's going to help reboot your metabolic health. It's going to give you if you're outside, it's going to give you natural vitamin D that's going to help to boost serotonin and, and those feel good hormones that we need. All of those hormones and those enzymes that the body was beautifully and wonderfully made and knows that it is supposed to produce. It gives you that opportunity. Um, and so I think that's the last one that I have on here. And again, this is just a natural, this is not a natural, this is just a general uh, discourse on how to begin your walking. All right. So let's move to finding the time. How do you find the time to walk? Well, it's based on your life demand. It's based on your schedule. I am a, a organized person as well, but I have to watch myself because if I'm trying to be too on the letter, too to the T, too on the mark, I will put off doing some things because there will be some other priorities that will skedaddle their way into onto the scene. And so I have to take into consideration the time of the day that I'm just going to do it. It's going to be some times where you don't need to wait for all the, the T's to be crossed. You're going to have to get up and do it. And you don't have to walk for a long time. OK, you can walk for start at 15 minutes. If you need to start indoors based on where you are located, based on the weather, do that. If you want to walk at sunrise, but it's too dark outside, do what these ladies are doing and, and grab a partner. Um, stay safe. We, you know, we know that do, do things, you know, with common sense and decency and in order, find your time and then stay flexible, be flexible. If that time happens to change, if you're not able to walk the same time of the day, the idea is to move. Now we're going to be doing a joint check-in for holistically well, for those of you who want to, um, walk with us and our commitment Sunday is going to be our commitment day. My suggestion and my encouragement to you is for you to walk as much as you can, but stay flexible. Walk indoors, walk out outdoors, whatever the weather will permit, whatever your physical ability and capability will permit and hydrate. Hydrate before you begin. Number one, get that water into your body to hydrate your system, to help to uh, to get your bones and your joints moving and then warm up. It's very important. Warm up the way that you need to warm up based on where you are in your physical fitness, indoors or outdoors. The importance is if you need to warm your body uh, covered with clothes, indoors, on a mat, outside, do what works for you. Handle your body with care. Okay. And you all, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much what I want to share with you about walking your way into a better life. Easy does it is the way to go. That's what my mother used to always tell me with everything because I wanted to whip stuff up, whip stuff up. Knowing the season that you're in is respecting the season that you're in. Also giving grace and space to integrate and incorporate new things in your life. Everything is not about a sprint. There are some things that need to be marathon pace. There are some things that need to be snail pace. There are some things that need to be steady pace. And this is how we honor our lives. This is how we honor our mental health. We walk it out. 
We walk it out. We walk our way out of the dysfunction into the function. We walk our way out of abnormality into normality. This is God's desire for our life. And this is our own desire for ourselves as we strive to be well and to be whole. Subscribe to this channel, The Well Life TV. Subscribe to Holistically Speaking, the audio podcast, and also visit the website. Let me type it in here. Holisticallywell.co. On the site, you're going to get a lot of information. One of my goals is to make is, is to make sure that that remains um, an information center for you. Articles, blogs, videos that you can read and make a part of your well-being. Well, this has been your well woman, Lashana Moore, practitioner Lashana Moore with Holistically Speaking. Be well and be whole. Thank you for tuning in. Let's prepare our bodies, our mind, and our spirit to walk into better. Thank you for StreamYard. This episode has been powered by StreamYard. And until the next time, be well and be whole.